friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about using Canva to create videos that you can use in Facebook ads now why do you use why use Canva there's other tools to do it but the cool thing about Canva is you can actually start using it for free and creating ads for Facebook is a lot better with video and I'm going to show you a strategy I learned that can be used to grow your audience using very inexpensive ads that you can post to YouTube to Facebook you can probably use on YouTube as well but on Facebook like I talked about the last couple of weeks the last couple of episodes where I talked about creating ads for Facebook where I talk about creating audiences to your video views you can go back and watch those but today we're going to be talking about Canva and video ads or video content you can use for ads all right but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets all right so canva and ads and videos because you know you might be thinking canva is meant for images right it's meant for images you do these images they do really good images but did you know you can use it to create videos I think it's pretty cool there's uh, limitations obviously but you know for what we want to do it's going to be really cool you're going to be able to see how to do it I'm going to show you the steps and before we get into that I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this as usual you can go check out the, the video at cis392.jsgagnon.com to go watch the video and the blog post because I will be sharing um screen uh, my screen and showing you how to actually do uh, what we talk about all right so let's get right to it I'm gonna share my screen and show you what I got here in Canva and uh, we'll kind of show you uh, where's my screen there we go so like right now you can see I have images with different uh, you know different people in the video in the images right so right so the idea with Canva let's just start from a, a scratch one let's just go over here I'm going to create a brand new one I'm just going to open up another tab here I'm just going to say because you can go video you can go whatever but if I just go home here right when you start in Canva first when you log in right you're going to see this page where it says where you might want to do right so what we want to do we could do a video I'm not going to go into the video creation directly in Canva I'm just going to go to just a post I want to do a Facebook post so I want a Facebook post and um or I want well these are recent designs so let's just or Instagram post or Facebook or the, both of them are you know should would work uh the other thing you can do too is go into templates here under social media Facebook posts and that'll give you a whole bunch of and that's probably the nicer place let's start there go in here go to uh home uh sorry templates then go Facebook posts and once it opens up that whoops oh yeah there you go it gives you a whole bunch of you know examples right uh the ones that you say here pro right pay there's different uh options there's free ones and whatever but right now we're just going to create a blank Facebook post just click on create blank Facebook post and it opens up a new tab with a brand new empty <coughs> uh, template right so what you want to do here so I, I guess depending on what you're trying to accomplish for me we're going to go talk about what I'm trying to accomplish and I'm going to explain a few things let's actually go into my work uh here and do an, a little a document here I'm going to say notes and I'm going to kind of talk about what I'm trying to accomplish in my video that I'm going to be doing for Facebook so so what am I what what am I trying to accomplish with my uh video with Canva Canva video I guess I should say my Canva video my Canva video right for Facebook my Canva video for Facebook right so what am I trying to accomplish right so first I'm trying to accomplish uh building my audience right my audience so what does that mean that means that it has to be content that's that's attractive to my audience right so content must be attractive to my audience right number two well actually I guess I should put that as a sub bullet to this one 
so number two or number one is building my audience number two is uh getting them to know me uh to like and trust right trust so that's you know number two for me and the number two goal is I want them to actually get to know me a little bit by this video I'm going to do and I'm going to show you what I mean by that in a second so that means I must be whoops I must be included in the video right I have to be included in the video right so what is it how does that work and I'll show you how it works right so number three they uh uh what I want it to be is I asked uh images for I guess for uh to to generate to generate images they already know about right so they it has to be images they know about that they've seen so in in your case if you're trying to build um, an audience that's interested in weight loss or an audience that's interested in gardening or an audience that's inter interested in building a business online or an audience that's build interested in network marketing or maybe in your product the, you will want to get so you will want to find five to five to six let's say five to ten but I'd say around around six images images that show what that that your audience is interested your audience already recognizes recognizes right <laughs> recognizes so you got to find images that they already recognizes number five you got to add you add you in those images so you can put yourself as maybe third I probably I, I'm put my I'm not really sure about that part I'm gonna have to test it out right and do different videos but um but this is the thing so now number six um series sequence of images must um start with the most recognizable character or image I guess image image and go to next so number seven you need to be you need to be in number three or more in list of images okay so now and then uh, I guess and then number eight um <coughs> number eight oops I guess I didn't put this right Make this like this make this a little bit bigger okay so number eight um you'll need you'll need to create multiple versions for different <clears throat> different targets different targets each starting with the image they oops the image they are <coughs> they recognize could rise the most okay so what do I mean by that we're going to kind of talk about that I'm gonna, actually going to do it myself for me and I'm going to show you how to do it and we'll show you the kind of the more or less uh, end part of it because I'm 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 getting there but let's just go back to Canva to show you what I'm talking about okay first of all I did um I did I already uploaded videos or images from my target market so what I did is I just went into <coughs> into Google I did Eric worry right so in my case I'm I and this should be what you're trying to accomplish too right you should be trying to get people to you should be trying to find pictures of whatever it is that people recognize now depending on what you're trying to accomplish if you're trying to build um depending on what kind of business you're trying to build it'll be different but in my case and in lots of my uh, followers cases and probably with you too is you want to find people that are in your tar in that already have the customers that you're looking for right <clears throat> so me I'm building I'm, I'm doing online marketing I'm doing attraction uh, marketing I'm doing personal branding 
I'm doing I'm doing my uh, my my um, active group users uh, tool I'm doing my blog and all those things I'm basically doing online marketing right so who is good at online marketing who is good at you know generating income from the online world right so I went and I found okay who it is right there's Eric Worre uh I have uh Russell Brunson right so I did a search for Russell Brunson I got a picture of him in here that I took uh I did uh Richard Branson right whoops Branson and uh <coughs> Richard Branson and you know I did all the people that are uh, well not all but uh, you know five or six of them that I actually uh want to portray in this video right okay so now then I upload it to Canva so the way it works is under Canva if you if you're on the blank page that we're started on right now you're going to go to the uploads tab right here and then you're going to click on the upload media and you're just going to go find the uh images that you have like in my case I'll just go back to the course income secret one here and uh, where is it right here where I actually saved all those images that I want right over here so they're all here so I just select each of them and up upload them. I already did that so I'm not going to do it again but basically you just click on the image and it'll upload it into Canva right so once it's in Canva it shows up here as images that you uploaded along with everything else I uploaded in the past and what you do is you just like say for example I want to create a video where Tony Robbins where I want to target Tony Robbins fans right so I'm going to put him as the first one so you just click on the image that you want to add to your page we're going to get to how to make it a video in a second you go over here you just and you just click to make it and then I basically want to fill the screen that I want to fill that page with the image I don't want to have any you know like white spots right if I if I do this there's white spots so I'm actually resizing it so it's big enough to fit the the screen so that's the first page of the video then you just say add page you click on that it adds a new blank page I'm going to put Russell Brunson here as the number two right there he is Russell he's not that's not big enough yet there we go so now he's filling the page I again I do add page so you do that for every one every one of the images that you have in here that you want to put in your video right so you just add them all like this we're just going to do that again this is uh for Richard Branson here I'm going to add another page here uh we have let's put uh let's put Ray Higdon over here it's Ray Higdon that so like you know like I said the people that you put is based on whatever you're trying to build right so I'm going to do another page here I have John Melton right here and let's put him here like that then I have another page and I'm going to put <coughs> I'm going to put Gary V there's Gary V add another page and uh did I not put oh no yeah I guess I started with okay Eric Quarry right here I'll put him here now like I said obviously the pictures you take the whatever you want to use is fine and you want to add yourself in there so I'm going to add I should probably go find a better picture of myself let me just upload another picture of myself I'm going to go back to my oh there you go that's perfect my images what about do I have anything in here that's good I want to have something that's going to be recognizable so it should be one of my profile pictures that can be a full-size one of the profile picture I use cropped 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 this 20 this is the original one right here let's just take this original one so that's going to be the full original one I'm going to add a page and I'm going to put myself now I said earlier that you should not be you should be like third or fourth or something it's really obviously up to you where you want to be in the um in the actual you know series but okay so now you have your pictures that are laid out though in the sequence that you want them to be so now how do you make that into a video I'm actually not really sure how I ended up doing it but um when I went to download here I said mp4 and maybe that's all I gotta do no I guess I have to download it first or maybe I have to convert it 
recommended share no um how do I make it into a video the first time I did it I just did a download here and I made it I turned it into a video and say and download and that saved converted it I guess it converted it to a video maybe there must be another way to do it but anyways this kind of works I did that and that converts it to a video like I said there might be another way and probably if you google it you can always find out but uh we have the video here I'm doing the video let me just kind of show you so once it's a video I'm just going to save it in my downloads for now because I don't want it's not going to be a, a, a full video I want <clears throat> but if I actually go into my downloads uh, completed okay let's close that okay so now it's a video and actually it doesn't look like it's a video it didn't it didn't work hmm that's weird because you know I got this one here turned into a video right I got it turned into a video there's a, a play right there so how did that happen that's the part that I'm not sure of I'm sorry about that let me see if I can't figure it out over here um maybe I maybe I have to add audio oh okay so I'm not sure maybe maybe by adding audio it automatically turns it into a video but that's kind of what I just did right now that that's the next part so if you want to have these are uploaded so elements oh there's audio more videos charts okay so all right so when you first go into canva you're not going to see these um this option of audio right here I don't think anyways I, I wish I would remember what it looked like when I first did it but I'm pretty sure it's not there and you have to click on the more which loads up and it'll be here for sure over here you'll have audio and videos so if I click on videos right here it adds it to the side here and then I can actually make this add this to the to my 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 screen right I add this to my to this and it turns it into video right now it's a 40 second video because I have 10 images and it does five or maybe I have eight images it does five seconds per image by default but what we want is we want to add some audio at least I want to add some audio to the video that has to do with what I'm trying to accomplish right what I'm trying to accomplish is a video that talks about these leaders and puts me in the mix of those leaders and I want to have the um I want to have um something that's um in you know it could be anything but I uh I put this um this um this audio from this from this video here here's to the crazy misfits right so the speech the original speech from um from Steve Jobs right so that one there is one of the ones that is very popular online um I'm not sure if I'll if it's going to be allowed I I know some other people they've just read the, the the words themselves which maybe I'll end up doing or maybe I'll have to do that because maybe the video won't be approved because it's owned by somebody or something right <clears throat> so but the point is that you have to add audio now if you don't have an audio you can just put music so when you go to audio right here and that this is what I meant when I said there's limitations in Canva you can only have one audio so I can put this happy birthday sign right here and it replaces it right right so it's like a happy birthday to you <laughs> uh video game blockbuster is kind of a, a good one so I can you can have this right okay so now how does it work so once you have your audio then you can press the play here and you'll see the video go let me show you what that looks like So as you can tell it's going from one one image to the next and it's got the sound right that'll be the video right your video would would be that right so now what you want to do is you want to make sure that your the length of the time between images is what you want so how do you do that so over here you have this a uh, little timing that's right there when you click by the way when you click in any of the gray area this comes back so you can click on this 
and you can say I want two seconds and you can do it just for that one image or for all the images by doing this you can see that it reduces the time to 16 right there right and once it's there now when I play it again I can click this here to play it again you see that it's going a lot faster from one image to the next right so that's the that's the audio part of it there's the animate right here which lets you um set animation I'm not really sure I guess you can kind of see what they do over here um so scale let's see I want to do a I don't know about this is there uh so if I do this that means that every image will do like that right so let's see is there apply to all pages all right so I'm going to play this now you see how now that at least it's moving a little bit which you know helps with the with the, <laughs> the video so you want to do something like that probably and then the other thing the next part is you know if you have a video you're trying to tell people you want to be uh, useful educational or entertaining so in this case I want to be saying things about these leaders so that people are actually like I'm going to read whatever is there right so in this case you go to your elements <coughs> uh well actually let's do uh text you go to text you click on the text thing and then you add a heading in this case I'm going to say this is Tony Robbins right his name Tony Robbins Tony Robbins I'm going to put that up here and I'm going to add a subheading helps helped millions of people overcome fears and and, and reach new levels whoops new levels now obviously I would want to google this make sure that what I'm saying is true levels new levels of success with <clears throat> with his events and retraining okay so I got this let's going to reduce this I click on the little minus right next to the size here that reduces the size of those that text so I can put that right over here like this make it kind of like you know a little bit to the side make it look a little bit and then I'm going to add something down here let's add I can add whatever other text I want um let's say this oh that's uh sorry that's uh <laughs> you see the little uh little um uh crown right there that means these aren't free right so you can't use these ones if you're on the free account um I'm not going to bother with those right now let's just put another subheading right here I'm going to say today he believed he believed <coughs> that he had he lost his way and had to work two jobs while he was in high school his life was a wreck this way was looking to end it so he believed I guess I should say he believed that he believed he had nothing to give he lost his way okay so let's just do that and I'm going to resize that a little bit too and I'm going to put that down here right okay so now we have this on the first image and let's just look at what the video looks like right so we got this now that's obviously not long enough to read right so let's close this and let's go back to here and say this is I don't know five seconds I'm going to make them all five seconds back to the five seconds <coughs> so I don't know if that's long enough to read it but if it's not it almost good because then people will want to go back to the uh to to watch it more than once right especially on Facebook you know how it plays and keeps and starts over 
so this is and you can you know do things like you can add like um an element here I can I usually like using this thing which basically I can put behind text so just do this like this let's move it up here do this like this and oh, is there a oh yes right here so you can actually make it a little bit transparent so people can actually see the picture behind it right and I can actually copy this and put it behind oops right there oh I guess I didn't uh, oh I didn't that's actually something old from before control C control V control C control V lets you copy the whoops copy it I'm going to put that back here as well that over here like this and then maybe this text I can make it a bit I make it black no no the text I want the text there's a the text I click on this I can make the color of the text right here make it black no black is no good white well I guess maybe this has to be a little bit more uh less transparent like this one this one too let's make it a little bit less transparent there we go oh oh that's the thing I gotta bring it so here's the other thing you right click on this and you tell it to go backwards that means it becomes behind the text the text is in front of it that's why the text was so light on this one so then I can play it again and you can kind of see what's going on here you can see the text you might have time to read it maybe you don't you'll have to pause the video but that's the idea so you create each of these pages like this right and you add your text to each of them in my case I'm kind of saying okay all these leaders right they 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 do this today and you know they they thought this when they first started right so I want to I'm going to be doing a video that talks about these different things for each of the leaders what they accomplished and what they believed you know their limiting beliefs that caused them to you know uh to to maybe they would have gave up but they kept going and I'm going to talk about that for me as well and that'll let people learn about me and they'll learn about all these other people and I'm going to be like in here now the other thing is you might want to move a page up like this I want to move this page up here and I'm going to put myself as number three or four right there and then what happens is you save this right can you make a copy file create a new design save the folder make a copy okay so now what I want to do is I want to create five or six of these each of them with a different first image right so I'm going to create the whole thing I'm going to create all of them with all the text and then after that I'm going to I'm going to create a new image a new um a new video like a, a, a new you know I'll make a copy right here I'm going to make a copy and this will be this one here I'm going to first I'll go back to this one I'll give it a call I'll call it so that uh so it'll be leaders video Tony Roberts right this is the leader video that starts with Tony Roberts the next one is I'm just gonna start it with Russell Brunson or let's say Russell Brunson so how do I do that right so now I have Bro Tony Robbins so Russell Brunson will be first now instead we'll start with but Tony Robbins still be there because you know you want to mix them up to have and then I'll do another one and I'll have the other one uh, again I'm going to just say file make a copy and I'm going to make this uh with um with uh whoops Richard Branson as the first one right so this will be Richard Branson whoops Richard Branson right so now copy it will be leaders of video Richard Branson right so that's so I'm making a copy and just moving the images around now obviously I won't do that I shouldn't be doing that right now because I don't have the text on this it should be once I'm all ready and I've got all the text on it and then after that you you download it and you have these videos that you can do ads to the Richard Branson fans you can do an ad to the Russell Brunson fan you can do an ad to the Tony Robbins fan you can do an ad to the Eric Warrior fans and you're basically having these people you know get to know you and that the important thing is that they get to know you because you're in that list of all these leaders they're like oh 
and then maybe they later on they see some posts from you they're like oh that's the guy that was in all these leaders video right so that's kind of how you use it and uh, that you can do ads to Facebook now I might where are we? we're 30 minutes so maybe let's just show you also my uh what we did last week right where we have these Facebook audiences where I have these video viewers so this would be the same thing you're going to create these videos you're going to make them as ads spend a dollar or two a day on each of them so it's you know there, you have to have a budget obviously but once you do that then you're growing your audience and you end up with uh you end up with uh, ads that you can send to people that actually know who you are so you're warming them up right you're warming them they're not just cold market people that have no clue who you are right and uh and yeah so that's kind of how it works if I go back to my um ads that I did remember those ads I did last week they didn't get approved they were rejected and they now I just I still just have my original two ads of how to find active users I did uh successfully do another ad which has a daily budget instead of a lifetime one so that means that this one here it'll actually uh get to um to, to I'll have it keep going right um and uh, so I have these ads and I'm going to be doing the other ads and getting so these people are actually through plays as 15 seconds or more right but yeah so that's kind of how um I'm going to be doing it that's how you do a video in Canva you can do a video in Canva just with images like this all right hopefully you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next episode this has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Ooh. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.